Assalamu alaikum students, welcome to English class. Today we are going to do a very interesting topic that is quite beneficial for you in your future life and practical life and that is how to take a job interview. And by the end of this unit, you'll be able to understand how do you take a job interview, what are the uh, preparatory steps, what uh, points you have to keep in mind while uh, you are being interviewed and after the interview, how you have to behave. So uh, you are going uh, through this text by yourself and you are going to see how the text is written. Okay, but practically this uh, lesson is going to help you how to take a job interview. So to start with, see the first, second, third and fourth paragraph, whatever the main points are, I have highlighted over here and they'll help you to understand what is the purpose of interview. So to, to start with, purpose of interview is that it enables the employer to judge or determine an applicant's skills, experience and personality. Okay, so it gives a chance to the employer to determine or judge your skills, your experience and your personality, whether you fit the job requirement or not or whether the applicant fits the job requirement or not. This is the purpose of interview. Okay. And the first paragraph deals with this purpose. Now, uh, in rest of the paragraphs, we are told about different types of job uh, interviews now. Okay. Here you can see in the text also behavioral use uh, based uh, behavior based interviews. Okay. Now, one by one, I'll, I'll let you know what are different types of interviews. First one is behavioral interviews they focus on personality traits and they are a bit complex okay why the idea is that past behavior predicts how a person will act in the new job in this type of interview a person won't get many easy yes or no questions okay and in most cases he or she needs to answer with an anecdote uh, about a previous experience he has to or she has to relate about his previous experience so behavioral interviews are complex interviews okay then we have case interviews now interviews in which uh, the candidate is given a job related uh, scenario and he is asked to manage the situation uh, at the spot so that is called a case interview okay a job related scenario is given to manage the situation and uh, it judges the analytical abilities for executive positions and mostly these interviews are conducted for executive positions where you are going to handle uh, many employees okay or you are uh, going for uh, any higher uh, job okay or a higher position or post okay then we have competency based or job specific interviews now these interviews are knowledge based and skill based interviews okay this will help uh, the person judge your knowledge and skills required for that specific job then uh, jo uh, interview can be taken by a single person it can be conducted by single person or it can be uh, taken by uh, a group of members okay so we have uh, group and in interviews also we have phone and video interviews and then we have online interviews so this was all uh, about different types of job interviews next we have job interview requirements now these paragraph okay these uh, the text on this page it talks about what what are the requirements of job interview it requires information about the job as well as the organization. So why job interviews are required? So that the person who is applying, he has the information about the job and he knows uh, what is the organi organization about. He has the knowledge of organization also. Okay. Now, when you are going for job interview, it is very important that you leave an impression and you know uh, usually you might have heard first impression is the last impression though it is not necessary in all these situations but usually most of the time uh, first impression it it has the lasting impact okay so you should leave a brilliant first impression okay uh, 
a right outfit gives self confidence so whenever you are going uh, for uh, an interview so you should take care of your dressing now if you uh, look at this one bright ideas accentuated by a professional look can go a long way especially in a job interview if you are a brilliant person and you know how to dress up definitely it is going uh, to add up to your uh, points it is not about fancy clothes or popular name brands it's about feeling good about yourself and choosing clothing that reflects your personality don't go for brand sometimes even if you are wearing branded dresses but you don't know how to carry yourself or maybe the dress doesn't suit your personality you are going to fail don't be into trends don't see that if this thing is in fashion maybe that thing doesn't suit you okay so a right outfit fit gives self confidence a right outfit will give you self confidence choose formal dress which suits your personality and appearance dress smartly and avoid overdressing don't go for perfect 100% matching everything for example you have chosen the theme brown and then everything goes brown okay don't uh, uh, don't do this dress smartly but avoid overdressing okay be well prepared and have good self control to impress the interview beforehand prepare yourself prepare yourself for the questions and you should have good self control even if you don't understand anything don't show it up that you haven't understood or you have misunderstood something okay self confidence is the key to success this is very important self confidence it uh, saves you in many situations but don't be over confident okay some candidates they become over confident and then they uh, they might lose even a very good job okay plan your opening in order to create an impression your opening um, answers to a question okay uh, should be very uh, impressive use a firm handshake smile make eye contact sit tall and lean to show your engagement and interest okay see this is the uh, point given over here in the last okay if you can see use a firm handshake if you can see over here use a firm handshake smile and make and see all these um, points are explained over here in detail i have given the hints uh, over here but you can go through this uh, text to read in detail okay be present in the moment and listen to the interview carefully uh, sorry uh, listen to the interviewer carefully to respond sometimes what happens the candidate he thinks about the next question and in that moment he forgets what actually the interviewer is asking so live in present live in the moment be present in the moment and listen to what the interviewer is saying now next point is very important how to respond to the questions asked by the interviewer you have to tackle the elephant in the room it means you have to so you have so many things to say but you have to be precise you have to tackle the elephant in the room with the use of minimum words you have to tell the maximum about you don't show your nervousness or uh, don't disclose your weak points have a good technical knowledge related to job requirement exhibit the right mindset for the job as your employee will explore into it your mindset for the job is very important how do you feel about your job and what what are your expectations then the next point is very important don't memorize the answers since most of the question questions are very common and they are typical and if you have memorized uh, that would leave a very bad impact on your interviewer one of the best thing is you can rehearse your interview uh, with your um, uh, family with your friends or with a professional career counselor this will help you this mock interview will prove very helpful okay it helps it uh, helps you in a way that you know how to answer difficult question develop interview uh, strategies improve your communication skills and how to relieve your stress so this these mock interviews prove very uh, useful here we have one word pragmatic pragmatic it refers to practical and realistic all these suggestions are very practical they are pragmatic they are very realistic and uh, here we have a simulation of 
an actual job interview it refers to imitation of a situation or process here is a quick recap of our today's lesson uh, we have discussed the points preparing for the interview what points you have to keep in mind dress professionally and make sure you are well groomed wear your portfolio ahead of time practice your answers beforehand do your research on the company and position that you are interviewing for uh, bring any materials you may include uh, like business cards resume and portfolio bring a notebook and a pen uh, in case you need to note down something be on time allow for extra travel time in case you get lost for uh, run into traffic okay then during the interview you have to make a good first impression with a nice firm handshake smile on your face be friendly polite and remember to smile display confidence speak loudly and um, enunciate when giving your answer okay you have to be very clear while answering the question always try to frame your answers in a way so that they relate to the job and uh, they depict yourself okay be honest don't um, over exaggerate or don't even exaggerate okay prepare yourself for a uh, curve ball questions tricky questions okay ask for some time to think if you need a second uh, to formulate to, uh, your thoughts or if you need sometimes to uh, get to the answer of a particular question okay then after the interview thank the interviewer for his or her time give the interviewer samples of your work if you are asked for it okay provide a good final impression with a nice firm handshake follow up with a thank you email letter or phone call and prepare for your follow up interview if it is applicable so hopefully you would have understood today's lesson and this is going to help you in your future life thank you so much have a good day allah peace